Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I am definitely making up today for not posting in a while. We have five different sections of content, so we're going to be fitting rock sliders and seat box corners, um, popping in USBs for the dash and a 12 volt, um, just like a socket. Uh, what else are we doing? We're doing the TD5 um, side repeaters, front speakers. Um, yeah, so and on each section I'll just say which one we're going to so you can skip ahead if you want and just watch um, which section applies to it. I'll put a description in and the different times that each section's on. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it and thank you for joining me here. Grindy stuff makes it look like I've actually gone off roading. <laughs> like being dust. Well, nothing on peanut dust. <laughs> you know, corrupt death and you'll get the peanut dust. <laughs> Painted. There we go, and they're all gloss black. Well, it's gloss black for one because the other side's not on yet. Um, there is quite a lot on the door, but that's fine because uh, it's just going like going on all along, and eventually it will be painted black anyway, so no bother. All sorted, it's fine. Yeah, the idea was just to get it back and have some protection on there, which this will hopefully do. So, yeah. This is what happens when I'm left unsupervised with paint too long. Now I have gloss, albeit very textured, <laughs> uh, wing mirrors. It's not the prettiest job in the world, but it's, it's better than the plastic, to be fair. Secretly happy. <laughs> Until I drove towards it and it's blowing you back. Yay! <laughs> Very interesting place for my snap on pliers. James very kindly bought me some speakers. They were five and a quarter size. <laughs> and just from five, just got on eBay. Done. On the side here. I'm just gonna go over and do the driver's side. So we had these in temporarily um, while we were getting these and we didn't have wheels on or anything. This one's just a lot nicer. So, yeah. So while I was here, just in case I needed to look at any wiring, I thought I'd check the hazard switch and it's a good job I did because the reason it wasn't working was because it wasn't plugged in. How simple, but fixed it. Yay! There we go, new one in 
this one looking beautiful. Look good. Well, I was going to do my the rock cider. I don't mind that, it's very expensive. It's out to be fixed. Um, and the little cagey bits around my side of it is but and i didn't mind working in the rain but it's very hard to mark up on a very wet land rover um so hopefully this dries out a little bit and i can do it um but for now i'm gonna do my little so i've got a cigarette lighter um and some usbs and a voltage um reader so i'm gonna do them for now um so yeah and i've drilled me holes uh, this trusty old thing don't at me about them being central i know they're not but they're holes um i just need to file it down a little bit because they don't actually come like fit that they're just slightly too small so i'm gonna file it down a little bit just to get them in um so i've got this one that's definitely going in this side and then I brought a new cigarette lighter um, just to freshen it up a little bit. So that's option one. And then option two is somewhere. It's here in this lovely little box. And this is option two. So it's not an actual like cigarette lighter. Um, it's just a normal 12 volt. So yeah we shall see what we decide i am kind of leaning towards that i just think it'll be more useful like if any of my passengers smoke see i'm i'm very courteous 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 host i am <laughs> um so yeah I did it. <laughs> so I did go for the 12 volt without the cigarette lighter in the end because I figured you've got a lighter passengers you can deal with that um because I always keep a lighter in the car um and then obviously we kept um this one for the USBs what's really good about this is it's got a voltage meter as well so that will come in nice and handy for me um so yeah they're both in now so that's a yay so the top, I'm deciding between carling switches at the top um, and then I'm popping a Land Rover badge in here, which I will do now. And then if you've not seen these before, so if I do go massively wrong um, with the holes, it's like not really that much bother because then you screw these on and they keep them nice and secure. Um, so I'm going to try and do it more than the camera. <laughs> My bad. I thought that was James and his dad messing about. It turns out this is leaning on the horn while I was doing this. So, sorry about me honking. Whee! So, I like these. Are <laughs> okay, so they're both on. So, we're lovely and secure now. So, I've got this fuse box that I'm going to wire up both of them lives to and pop into new fuses. And then they'll be earth the same as the stereo. Um, so, everything should come on 
um, at the same time, um, but we shall see. It is me and I'm not great. <laughs> so I've got my new fuses in, annoyingly, um, on the wiring for um, the new like ports that I've got. We've got a little ones that go on screws, so I'm just going to replace them with the little slidey ones. I'm sure they've got a technical name, but as I say in every video, not a mechanic, don't really care, I'm pulling them the holy ones that go on the screws. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to strip them and put the the slotty ones on. <laughs> and feel free, I won't copyright that, feel free to call it because it is a better name. So <laughs> There we go, that's what I meant by slotty ones. Feel free to comment what they're actually called. Oh, that's James as well. Yeah, so now we're going to just do the air, which is down here. We're just going to put them on the same air so that the radio is on. I wonder if I can find my fillet. Oh, I'm such a messy person. It's very annoying. BRB, you're just finding me flips. There it is. Still haven't got my fitted mats. <laughs> right, so that's the air all on and happy looking. Oh, has one foot? There's only three there. There was four. <laughs> one's all off. One hasn't fallen off. It's the angle. There are two red ones. It's the little optical illusion. <laughs> we work. Well, that's happy. Very happy that we're all working. Yay. So this is my next task. Um, so I've got this little Land Rover badge from Mud, which I know isn't supposed to go in here, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make two little holes in it and then put three of these two little legs <laughs> through the two little holes and see how it goes. I mean, the worst case scenario is I have to get some sort of gel badge to cover up my mess. Um, so there's not too much to lose here. But um, I would really like to have a little Land Rover badge in there so it looks as OE as possible as that's what I'm going for with this car. One tiny hole done. Let's see how it fits. Believe it or not, that's still apparently too small for this square. I mean, I can kind of see it. But what I'm going to attempt is doing the other side and then just squishing the hell out of it until it fits. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Sure, buzzing, like it's stuck, it's not going to wiggle out. Um, <laughs> there is, I mean, it's not perfectly central, but what on a Land Rover is? I did say I wanted it to look OE. <laughs> um, I'm sure it'll look better on when it's like when it's all back up. So let's have a look. No, was the answer. It did not look loads better when it was on. Um, that actually improved again, believe it or not, um, with bigger holes and then. Um, I don't know, just some sticky stuff no one needs to know about behind there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> but I mean, it works as a tip. And that's how we have it now. Woohoo! Just taped on <laughs> my little side repeated grills until I was happy they were straight enough and now I'm going to mark them up before drilling the holes. This is just going to be pot riveted on so I'm just drilling the holes. Um, the bit is slightly too small so I'm just trying to make the hole a little bit bigger at the moment. Okay. these seat box corners to pop on so I'm just going to take the bolts out of the seat first just at the front to put these on because they'll go like under the rail so I wanted the seat box corners just because they're stainless steel so I'll protect the corners a little bit um, and I think it will hide the little line from the the amazing flooring job that we did um, so yeah, we'll just tidy it up a little bit as well, which is obviously a bonus. These have been greasy, so they keep slipping out of my hands, but it's probably off. <coughs> Oh. 
I've just realised you're probably going to be like, why is she taking that side off if she's only doing a seat corner? Because this won't lift up <laughs> without taking the other one off. That's why. So that one isn't all the way off, but it's off enough just to lift it up, which is what we want. So for it to sit really snug for defender rails, you do need to drill through them. Um, so I will be doing that now. But there's holes then for bolts on the sides, is that, and it just come with bolts. Um, after some rummaging around, I'm lying, they no, didn't come with bolts or I've lost them, so I'm going to pop rivet them on instead. So that's the first two drilled and pop rivets placed in. <laughs> James just come with his strength and did that. I'm weakly. And there we go. Yay! <laughs> and driving side all together. Here's the carpet retainer trim, the seat box corner, and the rock slider. Okay. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to carry on following on with my Land Rover journey. Um, eventually, I will post our other cars as I keep promising in every video. You'll just have to keep watching for them. Um, Jane's actually got a gearbox change coming up. So, comment below if you want to watch us popping in the new gearbox in the series. Um, and we will happily film that for you. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Also, Happy New Year.